Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP Lee Support. In yesterday's video, we discussed about how to use that uh, Query Designer SQVI and how to develop that when, when basic report. And I forgot to mention how to transport those changes from development to quality and quality to production system. Let me discuss how can we transport those changes. First, let me open SQVI. So the initial screen of SQVI, we can see the list of uh, queries that we have developed for our user. There are two has been developed by my ID. Okay, so what we need to do here is that select which one that we are going to transport. Select this one and uh, go to the menu quick view and here you see one option called additional functions then you can click generate program yeah now the program has been generated again go to the quick view additional functions and you see this option called display report name just click this one now copy this program name. Copy this. Now go to the transaction called SE93. Remember SE93 is used to create T codes, transaction codes. So, so we, we here first we need to give the T code name. So I'm going to give T code name as something like this g test 312 now click create and here we should provide the short text uh, we can mention same thing again g test 312 now click on ok so here we should copy paste the report name this is the report name that we have generated now copy that and put it here in the screen number we can simply mention 1000 by default and then you can enable these buttons SAP GUI for HTML, SAP GUI for Java, SAP GUI for Windows that means SAP GUI available in different platforms HTML, Java, Windows if we enable all these checkbox, what, it, what does it mean? This T code can be accessed in all these platforms. Well, that's what it's meaning. Okay, now save it. Now it is asking for a transport. We need to mention package here. After that, we should give the TR details. As of now, I am going to save it in one local object, temp object. Click on save now. Now it has been saved. Now copy the transaction code, go to that command prompt, slash n and paste it. If you enter, you see this is the screen that we are getting. Let me execute that here as well. gtest3 display. And now execute see both are same so this is the sqvi screen this is the sqvi screen and this is generated with the help of our custom t code if i execute here it is asking 100 number of hits same thing i can do here as well okay so i am getting some dump here Okay, anyways, any, anyhow, this, this is a standard program developed by, generated by SAP only, but I'm getting some dump, fine. But this is how we should run this report. Fine.
yeah see now it's working fine right so this is how we should develop the t code Uh, one second, let me compare it. Oh, it's not working. Hmm, both records are same. Anyways, fine. So this is how it should work. So I have developed two T codes for this report, this report. And I'm able to execute this one. So let me execute one more time. Slash n execute maximum number of entries. It's working fine. One more thing I would like to highlight that if you don't know the T code for it's a generic one, okay? Not related to SQVI. It's a generic thing. If you don't know the T code for any of the report, you have the program name with you, but you don't know the T code for that. Then how can I get the T code for that? There is a one table is there that is TSTC. Not on this table, TSTC. In this table, see there is a one field called program. Copy the program and execute. You see, when you execute, we are getting two entries here, right? That means these are the two T codes created for this custom program. And similar way, if you don't know the program, if you know the T code, and if you would like to know the program for the T code, means simple. Copy this T code and uh, come here and put only the T code, remove the program. Then system will display the program for those two T codes. Not only this one, everything, even for standard of T code also, we'll get the program. For example, V.02. It's an incomplete log T code. See, nothing is here. It's very strange. Fine. So this table, we can get information like this. Let me go with VH01. The VH01, we have the program. But for the V.25, we don't have any program. That's OK. That might be different settings might be maintained. So this is one of the useful table. You can all use it whenever it required. OK, fine, everybody. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you.